it is nice having my vehicle next to my tent for the first time in a few camps. Uh, makes it easier to make coffee. There's a gorgeous view in the morning. I don't know what it is, it's cold out, but I can't convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, even if I had a cell phone that uh, had any coverage right now. Today, today we're starting here, Rainbow Falls, through the North Shore of uh, Canada. I'm gonna try to get to Wawa, maybe a little bit further, but we're gonna go to Wawa, which is a great song by George Harrison, by the way. Let's go. Well, here in Schreiber, Ontario, I'm 15 minutes early to go into the uh, Discovery Center here. That's okay. I'm gonna keep moving on, I think. But they've got this cool train, Canadian Pacific. Welcome back everybody to day three around Lake Superior. I'm in Terrace Bay on a lighthouse. I don't know if this is, used to be a real one or not, but uh, yeah, I'm on top of the lighthouse. There's Lake Superior. Beautiful. Today we're gonna be out and about in uh, Canada, heading towards Wawa, like I said. It is absolutely gorgeous out 60 ish according to my car had my first uh, breakfast down at drifters of the trip <laughs> it's gonna make for a better day i think got a little crabby yesterday i think because of my food situation but uh it's monday things are open i'm more positive slept really good okay we're gonna head south down that away. Unless I go to the beach. I don't think I want to go to the beach. Do I want that? Welcome. Not sure what a beach plague is, but uh, doesn't sound good. Oh, French. That's right. All right never mind. So I did come to the beach, why not? Oh my gosh. Monday morning, nobody down here at the beach. Well, there's one, one person down there.
Oh, I managed to score me a Tim Hortons coffee. Uh, try that in a little bit, see if it's good as its reputation is, and then uh, I need to run into this Canadian Tire not to find Steve Wallace, but uh, I've never been into one, and there's a couple things I might need, so I'm gonna check this place out too. I'm in Marathon, Ontario, Marathon. Well, Canadian Tire is kind of cool. Uh, it's basically like a uh, small version of a fleet farm back home. I know I would be shopping there if I lived in Canada. Well, I blew it. I passed uh, somewhere back there, Nays, N-E-Y-S, Providence Park, which I was going to stop at. Uh, I passed it. I didn't see the sign. Um, some of these signs are uh, kind of hard to see. I mean, they just... I don't know. I'll make more excuses, I'm sure. As I get passed again. There's some unwritten law, I think, about the speed limit because uh, I've yet to pass anyone. But plenty of people have passed me. So I'm headed to White River, moving away from the lake, Superior, and uh, offshore a bit and around towards Wawa. A couple hours away, I think. Yeah. Made my way to White River, Ontario, and it's the home of Winnie the Pooh. Not sure if uh, the crater was from here or there's there's a story. So long story short. Uh, guy from Winnipeg bought a cub bear about over 100 years ago from here named him Winnie because he was from Winnipeg brought him overseas where he's at a zoo which inspired Winnie the Pooh that's the story I guess condensed and mostly correct I hope also there's a sign that says there, there is 75 to 100,000 black bears in this country right in this area um, yeah, White River, Ontario. Well, I'm in Wawa, Ontario. Most of my driving for today is done, finally. Um, airport right across the street there. And look at this view out here. Lake Superior is just kind of around the corner, I believe. Other side of those hills. I'm gonna probably stay in this town there's a campground and get check out otherwise I'm gonna head to a Providence Park that's just south of here um, a few more kilometers so I check out the town it's like 3 30 in the afternoon so I do have uh, a little bit of time left everywhere around here so I scored an absolutely fantastic campsite here just north of Wawa this is it this is my this is where I am tonight right on this river I'm gonna get set up Finally got a hold of a uh, Canadian beer. Yeah, Molson. I th yeah, that's Canadian. It says Canadian lager. Okay. They had electric sites, but this is one to remember. The electric sites are kind of in with the rest of the campground. 
and I'm really low on my jackery and other power source. So I'm um, going to have to kind of be creative today. Tomorrow I'm going to probably get a camper cabin or something, but I got to have electric tomorrow for, for sure. Anyways, I'm going to get set up. I'm going to start dinner and then we're going to check out some waterfalls. At least one. So I walked over to this other site because I was given permission to uh, come over here and blow up my air mattress. Um, it's not because I'm cheap, but I just wanted the uh, view of that site, but I really needed to uh, get my mattress pumped up and then I've got the uh, Jackery. Hopefully I can get it charged up enough to get me through uh, tonight and to tomorrow afternoon. So that's the plan. I got a potato cooking baker and then uh, I'm going to eat. It'll be quiet time at the campsite. There's a guy next to me with his dog. Seems completely chill, but uh, it's going to be quiet time at my actual campsite. So I'm going to eat and then uh, I'm going to try to see if I can get to a waterfall tonight still. Jackery is charged up to 33%, which will get me through tonight and most of tomorrow, so that's great. Um, making a salad I also got a hold of, I think exclusively in Canada, the HP sauce, steak sauce. I'm e oh, I'm excited for this tonight. Yes. It could be just A1 sauce in a different bottle. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm excited. specific orders not to do any uh, nighttime evening drives because uh, of wildlife uh, so so I'm looking for a gas station if anybody's asking it's the scenic magpie falls Wow you just drive right in too I didn't even have to hike in sweet About that. Woo! So this is about uh, just a kilometer or two. Getting good at that. South of Wawa, uh, out of the town. So kind of a rough dirt drive, but it's definitely worth this. All right, I'm heading back to the uh, campground. If you can hear me. Uh, it'll be kind of a quiet night. I got people on both sides of me, but I'm just gonna. Have a campfire and enjoy the uh, beauty of the river that I'm by. Wow, this is loud. So loud. Love it. And I think there's one of these tomorrow. Another one up the road uh, I I'm gonna see. So that'll be in the next video. I don't catch base with you later. Thanks for watching. Maybe subscribe. You'll see me down the road on day four next. Still Canada. Well, up to this point, it's been uh, pretty disappointing as far as wildlife, but uh, still have five days to go, I guess. But really hoping for a moose. There's moose signs everywhere, but no moose.